Join us on our first trip to England. Welcome to London! Yay. Maddie had a lot First view of London. 6.30 in the morning. Morning, love. Good morning. <laughs> how, was your, how was your flight? Cramped. Oh, so cramped. I agree. Comfort Plus did not treat us well. Four people in the row. We were in the middle. It was very cramped. But we're here, so it's worth it. We maneuvered our way through Heathrow pretty easily as we didn't have any checked bags. So we carried our carry-ons out to the rental car pickup area and waited for the Hertz van. Once at the rental car company, they informed us that they had upgraded us to a Mercedes. Uh, but the Mercedes didn't really feel like much of an upgrade because it was a very small cramped car. It took us a few minutes to find where everything was in the car and to get adjusted to driving on the opposite side of the car, opposite side of the road. Luckily, Rick took to driving on the opposite side of the road pretty quickly. I, on the other hand, was a little bit of a nervous wreck. Kept feeling like we were turning into oncoming traffic when really we weren't. It's turning into a nice day. The rain has stopped, or at least slowed to a slow sprinkle. All right, so we're arriving at Stonehenge. Our flight landed at 6.30 this morning. By the time we got our rental car and then drove out here, it's an hour and a half from the airport. Uh, we made it just about 10 minutes after they opened. We had a 9.30 ticket to get in. Hopefully that won't be a problem because it's like 9.45 now. Uh, so we're gonna go check it out and we will bring you along. But make sure, especially if you come in March on one of the shoulder seasons that you pack accordingly because it is very cold out here and you are in the middle of an open field. So I put on Rick's coat, my coat, my hat. I got uh, threw on some jeans over my leggings that I had on. Everyone else is all dressed warm also. Headed in. Luckily we managed to get all dressed into our warm gear in that tiny little rental car checking up their pre-booked tickets Thank you. it's 21 pounds per adult to enter the stonehenge visitor center um you know that is that's about 10 tons of stone at the top there now think about working out how to move that <laughs> Go back home. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. That needs 90 to 85 people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With all of them. These little huts are recreations of what they assumed the huts would look like here while Stonehenge was being built. If it's not important to you to get the um, information and to see the visitor center, you can see Stonehenge from the road. Um, it's not fenced off in any way, or you can book tours. Um, so we didn't think that it was um, overly priced. Uh, we were excited to be able to go see it and we did thoroughly enjoy it. All of the employees were informative and friendly. Uh, and here we just are watching this bird and learning about the bird from the employee and just enjoying the moment. We were told that the bird visits every day and they named him George. All right, family, what'd you guys think? I like it. I like the rocks. Should have been an archeologist, Pretty I guess. Neat. Are you sure you're not a geologist? Pretty neat, that's all we got to say. And... <laughs> okay. 
That's a really a family full of words. We laughed because Tiffany asked so many questions. The employee asked her if she had a degree in geology. And here's what Stonehenge looks like from the road. Oh, now that's thin. We're now on the road for our hour long drive to the next town. We are headed to an area called the Cotswolds, which is referred to as the area of natural beauty. Uh, no new buildings have been built in this area since the 1600s. I'm just arriving in Castle Combe. Combe? 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 C-O-M-B-E, Castle Combe. Dreary. Here's a picture of what the town looks like from Google. I'm sure this picture was taken on a much nicer day, but despite the poor weather, we still really enjoyed this little town. This village has been used as the filming location for many different movies and TV shows, including most recently Downtown Abbey and uh, the movie War Horse. In the 15th century, this town had multiple water mills because of its location on the Spybrook River uh, and made for a great um, area to produce wool. <laughs> I picked this spot for lunch thinking we could eat outside. I don't think we'll be eating at those picnic tables. Let's go check out this sandwich shop. At home on Google Maps, I was looking for a place for lunch and I found this little restaurant called The Old Stables. It was a tiny little restaurant that actually appeared to be in an old barn or stable. It was heated by this little fireplace and had these tiny tables, but it was full of great food and a cozy atmosphere. So we just loved it. After lunch, we continued on exploring the town on foot. Look at how cute these kneelers are. Every row has little handmade cushioned kneelers. I don't know if these are rental cottages because I'm not sure. Oh, hotel entrance to hotels. Okay. In this little building here, we came upon this little store, 
and it's just got the cutest oh. little things. Well, I enjoyed our time here in Castle Coombe and really would love to come back when the weather is nicer and we could spend more time exploring. I hope you also enjoyed your little peek into this adorable village. And if you liked it, hopefully you will give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment and tell us what other areas we should try to adventure to in the future. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any other videos that I have coming up. Thanks for joining us.